Well, hello to you grade two students. Today, we will be looking at what does my community look like. At the end of this lesson, you will be able to identify important buildings in your community, begin to understand positions of north, south, east, and west in relation to the different places in your community. And also, we're going to be doing something fun. We're going to be using the elements of art to create drawings of buildings in your community. Are you ready? Well, let's look at the picture here on the screen. What does it look like? Yes, it looks like a community. Very good. Now think about your community. Does it look like your community? Hmm. What is the same about this community and your community? Yes, there is a school, you have a library, and you also have houses in your community. Very good. Now, what is different about this picture and your community? You're seeing a pet store. Very good. Now, I want you to listen to this conversation between two persons. Good day, miss. Can you tell me how to find the bank? Yes, sir. All you have to do is to go around the corner and then take the next road and drive for a while. And then you're going to take the second ride. Boys and girls, do you think that these directions will help? Well, yes, a little. But how could we give more accurate directions? You are right. We can use directional words such as north, south, east, west, and we also can use left and right. Let's look at the compass rules. Where have you seen this before? Yes, on maps, indeed. So the N stands for north, the W stands for west, E for east, and south, which is S. Very good. Learning to use a compass helps us to know which way to go. So remember, north, south, west, and east. Now what else could we use when we are given directions. Yes, we can also use some beautiful landmarks. Very good. Now, what are some of the landmarks we can see? And use too. Great. We can use the important buildings in our community. Now, I want you to look about. Look around. What are some of the important buildings in your community? You see a school. Mm-hmm a post office, the police station, what else? Mm -hmm. The hospital, very good. Church, and when there's a fire, we know that we have to have the fire station, the community center, amongst others. Very good, boys and girls, well done. Now, what are some of the important buildings that we can see now on the map? We see a bank, what else do you see? school, and a library. Very good. Now we are going to be using the compass rules to locate places on the map. Are you ready? Now, here we go with the first question. Which important building is east? What did I say? East. Very good. East of the school. Look closely. What is east of the school? The library, good, awesome job boys and girls. Now which important building is west? Now we're moving from east and we're on the west of the school. We see the bank, wonderful. Now listen to this family and we're gonna see, we're gonna help them to find where they're going. Malia and her dad are standing in front of Anna's Foods. Hmm, she wants to go to the bank. Now, in which direction would you send them to go to find Anna's food? Hmm, look at the compass rose. Good, you are right. They should go to the east. Very good. Now, let us try another one. The Palmers are standing in front of their house on Green Road. Do you see Green Road? Good. They want to go to the library. They want to read some books. So which directions would they go in order to get to the library? 
Let's see what these boys are saying. Let's listen to them now. They want to help the Palmas family. Let's hear what Bob has to say. Go east, then north, then east. Now, Paul is trying to give some directions as well. So he's saying, go east, then south, then east. Now, which of these boys are correct? Is it Bob? Is it Bob or Paul? Excellent. Paul is correct. Now let's play follow the directions. Are you ready? Let's go. Now I want you to stand up. You will need some space around you, so make sure you have space around you. Now look at me. Let's look at me now. Now I want you to take two steps to the north. Here we go. One, two. Are you there in the north? Very good. Did you do it? I am sure you did. Now, we are going to be going to the east. Are you ready? Take two steps to the east. One, two. Wonderful. Take two steps now to the south. One, two. Mm -hmm. Now, can we do some jumping now? Mm? All right, let's go. We are going to go to the east now. So let's jump to the east. One, two. Jump to the north. One, two. Jump to the west. One, two. Are we leaving out something? South. Jump to the south. One, two. Wow. Very good, boys and girls. That was fun. And I'm sure you enjoy that activity. You have been doing wonderful. Now I want you to draw your pictures. And I want you to think about your community. And you're going to draw a picture of your community. Now remember to include your important buildings. Use paint or you can use crayons to add color to your wonderful drawings. Now I want you to show those wonderful drawings and we are going to be adding them to our activity corner. So boys and girls, you have identified important buildings in the community. Mm -hmm. You have used positions of north south, east, and west in relation to places in a community. And of course, you have used elements of art to create drawings in your community. Remember to share those drawings and have yourself a wonderful time. Until next time. Bye, everybody.